Hi dear friends, welcome to Top Education. In this session, we will learn the poem Water, which is written by Challapalli Soruparani. Challapalli Soruparani is a prominent Dalit writer. Dalit writer means she also belongs to a untouchable family. Her, her mature poetry focused mainly on the issue of gender and caste through she began writing about her experience. So all her experience we can see in her poems like water, that uh, caste, gender and her experience all are in these poems. Her translated piece Water by Uma Bhagwund is a metaphor that shows the plight of the untouchables in our society. So water. Now here water means many wars, many problems have been happened because of water only. Water is a prominent strong thing for which the people have fighted. A two states fight for a water. Let's move to the next. They suffer. So Panchamas are not allowed to draw water from wells. Panchamas are the untouchable people who are not able to draw water from the well. They suffered humiliation at the landlords of, at the hands of, or the at the landlords uh, of Kama landlords. So here, the Panchama people are having more problems because of landlords because they are richer and they are poor and caste color religion also comes in this scenario so here water in this poem does not merely act as a substance but it turns out to be a symbol of revolt so it is a symbol of revolt also the writer recounts her childhood struggle beside with water when she was small she had suffered for water she had got the humiliation with the experience all have been brought out in this poem so here she condemns the state of the poor and dominant that are denied water a contrasting picture is brought out where some people die without water while others are washed out by the killer tsunami so here what the poet want to say is the people who are untouchable and who are like uh, suffering from uh, suffering from uh, discrimination they are dying for water and about the like uh, rich people are dying because of tsunami and all problems so this is so world, uh, water is also a revolt of symbol she also condemns on water begin a bone of connection between the states and countries so like i can give you an example for karnataka and Tel uh, tamil nadu they are fighting for the uh, water of kavi so here also in this she had explained that also it is an inoculation that same violent and destructive vo water can sit innocently in a bacillary bottle so that the revolt water, the destructive water, the water which can kill many people is simply sitting in a bottle, in a bacillary bottle as a multinational commodity and it is also sold for money and it is have become a big business. The poet critically stance becomes more intense towards the end as she refers to the multinational market. Here multinational market are earning grows together by this bacillary waters and all because this water have been a very significant role so water is the instrumental for the struggle to equal rights and privilege so this was the poem of chellapalli soruparani and here we had some some points are not there so i i want to like uh, explain it so first point here was like karma chedu suvartamma she also fought for water with the uh, water and some uh, people also and they were not getting like the water uh, like the rich people can bath every day but for them the bathing was uh, on like uh, weekly days only Sundays they can bath and all so this also were points in this poem and guys that's it this is the poem and you can extract this poem more and more upon your experience and all so guys this was the poem water which is written by chellapalli suruparani thank you guys if you like then please subscribe our channel top education thank you